Murray. I'm the bird manager at the Princess Lee Joy Captive Breeding Center. So we are experimenting with increasing our productivity. Because great green macaws are so endangered, it's really important that we are producing as many healthy chicks as possible. So by pulling the second and fourth egg of birds that haven't been parents before or have maybe had unsuccessful clutches in the past, um, we can pull the eggs and put them in a controlled environment and ensure that they make it through their entire incubation period and are fully developed before they go back to the nest box. Okay, so this is our incubation machine. Uh, this um, keeps the egg at a controlled environment at all times throughout its entire 28-day period of growth. So we keep this at 99.5-ish degrees Fahrenheit and then the humidity between 40 and 60 degrees, or 40 to 60 percent. So we very carefully remove this so we don't damage the egg. And then I've already washed my hands. It's important to stay clean whenever handling these. So I'm going to slowly rotate it. We rotate three times a day, and then the machine also rotates three times a day. Uh, we rotate it to eliminate any potential error um, caused by the machine. Uh, we rotate in one direction and then the next rotation in the opposite direction. And then a few times a week, I go ahead and candle it just like this. So you can see the little guy is actually moving around in there right now. All right, so this egg belongs to a great green macaw pair named Mia and Vincent. So we pull the second and the fourth egg if there's a fourth egg leg in the clutch. And we wait till that female leaves the nest box. And then we replace um, that egg with one of these, which is a dummy egg. And then when the female returns to the nest box, she is completely unaware that her environment has changed and she will continue to incubate the dummy egg as well as the eggs that she has left. Our goal is when this um, egg starts pipping, we're going to put it back in its nest box. We'll remove the dummy egg and put that egg back in. And then the chick will hatch naturally and the parents can begin raising it on their own.